Chemistry lecture number 80, Boiling Point Elevation and Freezing Point Depression, part 1. Under normal conditions, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. However, when a non-volatile solute is added to water, the boiling point, BP, goes up and the freezing point, FP, goes down. And we can use the following formulas to calculate how much the freezing or boiling point changes. So, change in temperature of the boiling point is Kb times molality. Change in temperature of the freezing point is Kf times molality. So let's take a look at this top one here first. Well, change in temperature of the boiling point, change in the boiling point, how much the boiling point goes up. Change in temperature of the freezing point, uh, how much the freezing point uh, goes down. So Kb in this formula, Kb here, that's a constant. It's a number. It's 0.512 degrees Celsius per molal. And this is the number you use to calculate the change in boiling point for water. It's the boiling point elevation constant for water. If we used a different substance, uh, Kb would have a, a different value. Sometimes the uh, solvent is uh, benzene, and benzene has a different boiling point uh, elevation constant. Um, Kf for Kfm. Kf is the freezing point uh, depression. Sorry about that. It's depression. It's the freezing point dep uh, depression constant uh, for water. And again, um, this is just for water. Uh, a different solvent would have a different value for the uh, freezing point uh, uh, constant. All right, and then cursive small m, that's the molality of the solution. So let's use these two formulas to uh, figure out how much the boiling point and uh, freezing point changes when we add something to water. Sugar is added to water. The molality of the solution is 0.635 molal. Find the new boiling point and freezing point. All right, so let's do boiling point first. Change in temperature of the boiling point is Kb times M. Kb, that we saw on the previous page, is 0 0.512 degrees Celsius per molal. And then we can rewrite this as 0 0.512 degrees Celsius divided by molal. So this is what we put in place of Kb, and that's what we've got here, 0 0.512 degrees Celsius per molal. The molality of the solution, little m, is 0.635. So, the molalities cancel. 0.512 times 0.635 will give us 0 0.325 degrees Celsius. So this tells us that the boiling point is elevated by 0 0.325 degrees Celsius. Thus, the new boiling point of the water is not 100, but it's 100 plus 0 0.325. So the new boiling point is 100.325 degrees Celsius. All right, so the boiling point has been elevated by a tiny amount. It doesn't boil at 100, it boils at slightly above 100. Now let's figure it out for the uh, new freezing point. So if we add sugar to water, how much does the freezing point go down? So we use this formula, change in temperature of the freezing point is Kfm. On the previous page we saw that Kf is uh, 1.86 degrees Celsius slash per molal, and we can rewrite that as 1.86 degrees Celsius divided by molal. So this is what we put in place of Kf, and that's what we've got right here. And then molality is 0.635. So the molals cancel. 1.86 times 0.635 gives us 1.18 degrees Celsius. So that's the change in the freezing point. That's how much the freezing point changes. So the freezing point is lowered by 1.18 degrees Celsius, and thus the new freezing point of the water is 0 minus 1.18. So the water freezes at negative 1.18 degrees Celsius. So it doesn't freeze at 0, it freezes at uh, roughly 1 degree below 0. And this is why they pour uh, salt on the road during a cold, wet uh, day. When you add salt uh, to the roads, the salt dissolves into the water that's on the road, and the water is less likely to freeze if it has salt dissolved into it. It's less likely to freeze because it requires a colder temperature to freeze, so it keeps the uh, road from uh, freezing up, it makes the road safer to drive. And the greater the number of solute particles, the more the boiling point and freezing point will change. Uh, soluble ionic compounds will dissociate into two or more particles. 
and thus the change in temperature is magnified when soluble ionic compounds are dissolved in water. So we're going to pay attention to what happens when we add ionic compounds to uh, water. And the ionic compounds break apart and that changes the uh, temperature uh, of freezing or boiling even more. The dissociation of ionic compounds must be factored into the calculation of the change in temperature. Now, I recommend that you review chemistry uh, lecture number 48, soluble and insoluble ionic compounds, so that you can recognize when an ionic compound is soluble in water. I also recommend that you review chemistry lecture number 49, the dissociation of ionic compounds, so you can determine how ionic compounds dissociate in water. So let's do a problem where we dissolve an ionic compound into water. What is the freezing and boiling point of 0.029 molal aqueous solution of calcium chloride? Now, <clears throat> you have to recognize that this is an ionic compound that is soluble in water. Um, chlorides tend to be soluble in water. All right, so calcium chloride is soluble in water, and you have to know how it falls apart in water. That's why you have to review your previous chemistry lectures so you know how much how this falls apart. Anyway, um, it dissociates as follows. Calcium chloride in the solid form when dissolved into water breaks apart into the calcium ion and two chloride ions. So one formula unit of calcium chloride dissociates into three particles, one calcium ion and two chloride ions. So one of these and two of these for a total of three. So the molality of the solute particles is three times larger after dissociation. So what that means is that you have to take the molality of the solution and multiply it times three because when the particles break apart there are now three times as many solute particles. So the molality of the solute particles is 0 0.087, all right? Three times as much as 0 0.029. So we're gonna take this number and use that as our molality to solve the problems. <clears throat> okay, so the change in temperature of the freezing point is Kf times m. Kf is 1.86 and then the molality is 0 0.087. So the molalities cancel. 1.86 times 0 0.087 is 0 0.16 degrees Celsius. Um, when you add solute to water, it lowers the freezing point, so the freezing point is 0 minus 0 0.16. Uh, the solution will freeze at negative 0 0.16 degrees Celsius. It won't freeze at 0, it'll freeze at 0 0.16 degrees below 0. Now let's do it for boiling. Change in temperature of the boiling point is Kb times M, and then um, Kb is 0.512 and the molality is 0.087. The molalities cancel. 0.512 times 0.087 gives 0.045. Now remember, when you add something to water, it raises the boiling point, so the water doesn't boil at 100, it boils above 100. How much above 100? Well, 100 plus 0.045 gives us 100. 0.045. So it doesn't boil at 100, but it boils at 0 0.045 degrees above 100. All right. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 80, boiling point elevation and freezing point depression, part one. In part two, we're going to do more problems related to boiling point elevation and freezing point depression.